السلام عليكم ولكم تنا بي ام انجلش نيزيديشن دهل A workshop for women sexist to financing For international student reforestation a challenge to pay me to pay 23 in Africa Those were the Helen and what now welcome to the national news The president of the assembly, His Excellency the late Mohammed the late the Prime Minister, His Excellency Abdul Qadir Kamal Mohammed the first vice president as well as the second vice president, the chairman and chairwoman of standing the committee, as well as the general reporter of the BC, discussed the agenda of the conference of the president. The member of the conference forward the seven and painting test to the committee on finance, general economic and planning. And today, joint analysis of the Committee on Finance and the Strategic Committee on Legislation, General Administration and Human Rights. The drive, the drive law number 001 in 2390, instating the function of the internal audit in, in public station. The rest of the formulation uh, tests which are under uh, the responsibility of the Fantasy community, uh, Committee are the appeal and number uh, 200 and on the approval of the financial account of the Duan Zekete and for the fiscal year 2021 bill number 201 and on the approval of the financial account of the fiscal year 2020 uh, of the national office and of what uh, and the sanitation of the uh, Jaburi uh, on it. Uh, bill number 202 on the approval of the financial account of the National uh, Tourism Office of Jaburi for the fiscal uh, year 2021. Uh, bill number uh, and two and zero zero two on the approval of the financial account of the fiscal year two thousand eighteen of the Ven of the Jubilee Agency for Social uh, Development uh, added this. Uh, bill number three and on the approval of the financial account of the fiscal year 2018 of the Jewish Agency for Social Development. And bill number four, on the approval of the financial account of the fiscal year 2020 of the Jewish Social Development Agency, drove the law number five, approving the financial account of the fiscal year 2021 of the Jewish Social and Development Agency. The President of the National Assembly, Mr. Dalita Mohammed Dalita, received this Tuesday, March 16, 2023, the Cortez visit of the Ambassador of the Federation on the Honorable Mikhail Kolovenov, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China, the Honorable Hu uh, Pin. On the silence of this uh, meeting, the head of the Jewish Parliament had a, a telephone conversation with the tele and his uh, Pakistani counterpart. Uh, his Excellency Mohammed Sadiq Zanjarani, first the Russian diplomat, handed to His Excellency the President of the National Assembly a letter of congratulation from the President of the Federation Council of the National Assembly of the Russia Federation, who expressed his wish of to further strengthen the cooperation between the two institutions through the bilateral friendship group in taking the floor in terms of the head of the chamber say he was uh, delighted and satisfied with the partnership uh, between the two countries which uh, he say I was uh, satisfied with the partnership between uh, the two countries which uh, corresponded to the interests of the two uh, nations and especially the two people in the same way and he reached the diplomas of his full support in the accomplishment of his mission under the Jewish skies. The President of the National Assembly, Mr. Delita Hamid Delita, has also received the Honorable Hempi Ambassador of Southern of the Parliamentarian of the People's Republic of China in the Republic of Djibouti. The Prime Minister Abdul Kalam Khan Mohammed received today in his office a delegation from the a delegation of the Sheep Locos Hope, the largest floating library uh, calling in Djibouti the Locos Hope, the Seferi 
converted into a floating book fair, traveling the sea of the planet to give a presence to book where it remained difficult to access Arab in Jewelry a few days ago. The discussion between the Prime Minister and the delegation focused, among other things, on the noble mission of the ship Locos Hope. Arrived in Djibouti last Tuesday with uh, 315 uh, crew member and uh, a Sikh nationality, the Lagos Hope uh, work to share the knowledge of Hope and help through its journey around the world. Uh, the last time it came to Djibouti was in 2006 uh, on a poor day's uh, floating post care in uh, well, more than uh, 1,800 1, books and more, and then uh, 50,000 title items available to visitors. The Minister of Youth and Culture, Hebrew Mumin Asoui, and the head of the Prime Minister's Office, Ali Sile, Abdullah Prime Minister, Ali Sile, attend the audience. The Minister of Economy of Venice, in charge of finance, Mr. Elias Musa Dawali, and the Minister of Women and Family, Mr. Mona Usman Aden, had today a working lunch with a delegation of the African Development Bank at Kambiski. The delegation was led by the AFD's Director General for the East Africa Region, Mr. Wa Fubo. The delegation is accompanied by the Director General of Gender, Women and Civil Society, Ms. Mal Malada Akaba, as well as the Director General of the African Current. Fan, Mr. Cholise, Ganga, Mayor, and the senior FDA staffs. Let us recall that in Africa, one, uh, one woman out of the four lunch and managing the business. Women invest up to 19% of their income, education, health, and food for their families and community, compared for, to a maximum of 14% men. In other words, investing in women on it of, of managing business can transform society. Uh, this other approach addresses uh, the gender gap in excess of to finance and unleash to entrepreneurship capacity of women in Africa. To conclude, I recall that the Jewish government side, the Minister of Women and Family, Ms. Mona Usman Aden, and the official FDAD, Sebek and Fogat and several official of a uh, the Minister of Women participated in this meeting. The FDA Director General spoke about the importance of this initiative and stressed the commitment of the African Development Bank to encourage women entrepreneurs. And then uh, is the Minister of Women say it is really an honor and a joy for me to be here today and one day which is for the support from there. I've already had uh, the opportunity to work with uh, the PETRO and my previous position now with uh, the function of the promotion of the women. It is uh, still a pleasure uh, for me and especially with the initiative uh, the info for that uh, I welcome with uh, the discussion that we are able to carry out with uh, Nina a year ago. And the more I think today is the day it happened. We are ready, we are waiting, and we are really committed to move forward. So, thank you very much, and I wish you all of us a success and good luck for uh, the continuation of our work. Uh, thank you, welcome to one again from the kids, she said. The main mission of the delegation uh, team is the different mechanisms. The Mr. Elias Musa Dawale mechanism available with the pen group to help African uh, women uh, to emancipate themselves, but especially to really blossom in uh, entrepreneurship. I am also happy that uh, Mrs. Kappa is among us, uh, Director of Agenda at the African uh, Development Bank, but she also has uh, two uh, particularities. The Minister of Agriculture, Water, Fisher, Life School, okay, and uh, Future Resources through the uh, Drive Project Implementation Unit in, is organizing today the official launch of the regional uh, and project called uh, Risk Reduction. Inclusion and valorization of a pastoral economy in the home of Africa in the presence of the Minister of Agriculture, Water, Future and Livestock in charge of Fishery, member of the Structuring Committee, Technical Financial Partners, and 105 members of the private sector activity in Livestock take part in this meeting. So the finance and to the 10 of $8.5 million for Jaburi, including $2.5 million 
in law and on six million dollars in guarantee a draft is a life to support project who is designed is based on the sustainable concern about the effect climate change and livestock and its sub sectors in the Igato region. Livestock is a major economy and social cultural sector for more than 215 million people, people living in the Igat region. The region has about 520 million heads of livestock, including 373 million remaining in terms of trade. The sector is the largest in the region. The representative of the Ministry of Finance and Secretary General of the Ministry of Commerce recall in terms that this project will support our local economy and stretching our resilience to climate change. Then the Minister of Agriculture as uh, say, as we just hear, uh, this uh, regional uh, project that aims to protect livestock farmers from the negative impact of drought with a set of financial services in order to connect the them better to the market by facilitating livestock trade. How do we meet great this required rule chalk that lock pastoral estate into provide due to low investment, low productivity and access loss? This is what the drive is helping to answer. The preparation of this project will not have been possible without the support of all stakeholders who have gathered here. And I therefore take this opportunity today to offer the world banks a congratulation and encouragement to these uh, stakeholders. The um, ambassador of extraordinary and parliamentary of the Republic of Djibouti of, in the, in the, uh, to the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, permanent secretary of the African Union and the Economic Commission for Africa, Abdi uh, Mohamed Awe Abdi, um, handed over this Tuesday in March 14. 2023, his grandchild to the president of the Republic of Burundi, and at the university of the Republic of Djibouti to Burundi with a residence in Addis Ababa. Djibouti ambassador also conveyed to the president of the Burundi the warm congratulation of his Jewish counterpart for his effort to restore peace in the east of the DRC and selected the Burundi for being the first country it's a strobe on the peace mission to DRC. The president of the Republic of Burundi congratulated the new ambassador on his investment and welcomed him. The president has also took the opportunity to ask him a new ambassador to convey his great friendship to his Jewish counterpart to his excellence Marmot. The chief of General Steve and General Secretary Ibrahim, the artillery regime hosted today an important ceremony and of end of training on his arrival. General Secretary Ibrahim, accompanied by General Dahir Ali Muhammad, was welcomed by Colonel Muhammad Hirsi Umar, commander of the artillery regime. Then the uh, general are carried out the review of trophy composed exclusively of young trainees who have been benefited from this uh, professional training. This ceremony marked the end of three uh, military technical training course, namely the course CT1 observer reconnection of APD artillery, the course CT1 maintenance telephone radio and transmission, and finally a course of driving license category heavy vehicle. This technical training of Alterman, which uh, took place within uh, the uh, artillery regime, took place between September 2022 and February 2023, and was able to train 25 veterans in the specialist of recognition observation and artillery fire prepare. Troisième général du corps d'armée avait. 
ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك صراطا مستقيما صدق الله العظيم The one sermon at which we are going to say today marks the end of the city course of observers recognizing on the artillery purity. The end of the course was in, in telephony. It was a, in radio maintenance and design theater and transmission. Announcement that the end of the course of driving license category makes a day. In the entrepreneurship, it was one of the uh, port uh, today it is being pointed within the origin artillery September 2022 until February 20, uh, 2023 or 25 uh, trainees have been uh, training uh, or uh, special of the observer connection and prepared of the artillery fire. The objective of this course is to prepare for the section uh, of tomorrow for the benefit uh, of qualified soldiers designed that to display their knowledge and operational skills uh, the respective five in order to can and occupy a position of responsibility within their unite. Then the General uh, Secretary of Ibrahim proceeded uh, to the deliver it of uh, a certificate for trainees who have uh, successfully uh, completed uh, this is a uh, this training in artillery and transmission following the presentation of uh, the winner of the fire course. Uh, this award and certificate is tied to the service, the self sacrifice of these winners in the exercise of their function for the transmission and artillery. And therefore, pro of their preference, General Secretary Ibrahim wanted to show them uh, and uh, his uh, situation through uh, this ceremony and gave important instruction to all the soldiers uh, present at the ceremony. As usual, all participants uh, were invited to preface uh, offered by the military command to close the ceremony. All participants, after the family photo, were able to listen these two songs of the group, happy emphasizing that the uh, true creation, united love and con of country and sacrifice that we can achieve sustainable development. As usual, the ceremony ended with the presentation of gifts and traditional family photo. <laughs> No, as part of social assistance program, the UN Zeket uh, proceeded yesterday to the distribution of Zeket for the year 2022 and the tour of the first year of sponsorship orphan for the year 2022 at the level of the region. The distribution ceremony took place under the supervision of the Director General of the Zakat Court, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Musa, and the Prefer of the Region, Mr. Eden Musa Drar, and as well as uh, the presence of the family and the orphan benefiting from uh, this noble gesture. In this regard, about uh, 103 families from poor and elderly and low income family have been benefited uh, from the Zakat collected last year, while uh, 83 in, uh, orphan and orphan have been 
benefit from the tour on the fourth tranche of the sponsorship of El Cafela. The Dr. Gerald Duan expressed his thanks and appreciated to this local authority for the warm welcome and good preparation of the distribution process. Mr. Suleiman Hussein Musa emphasized the great importance of the cat and kafala in approving the living condition of the renewable groups of society. He noted that the one Zekat Foundation launched earlier this week the distribution of Zekat proceeded for the year 2022, and which amounted to 116 million foreign, while the estimated number of the families benefited from it is about 1,715 person. And now from the international lesson in Africa for restoration has several challenges, including food security, climate change, mitigation, and the fight against poverty in rural areas. Among others, if they continue, it's the one that polluted the planet the least. It's the one that absorbed the most COD thing to the end as far as which, however, with time, tend to pay the plenty. In 2015, the African Union debated a mandate to restore 1 million, 100 million hectares of the degraded land by uh, 2013, with uh, seven years to go before this uh, deadline. Uh, Experts remain out of the urgency of restoring the forest, uh, both in Africa and on global scale. That's it for this edition. Thanks for your attention. Have a wonderful evening.